Hello everybody. I hope everyone is doing great. Welcome back to my channel. It's um, Monday night. Um, another unexpected live video. Um, I will give you my schedule guys and my goal is to start uh, making live videos and Q&A videos actually on schedule. So that will happen after the holidays. Hi, hi, hi. Hello, hello, hello. I'm always amazed how uh, quick people figuring out the unexpected live videos. But this, uh, this topic, guys, I would like to address today is a very important one. And um, I received some letters and I felt like it would be best if I actually make a video on this topic rather than writing a long email. Thank you guys for the kind words. I, I appreciate it. So, seriously, thank you so much for the compliments, guys. It's very late and I'm very tired, so it's nice to hear nice words. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to talk today about the children, you know, I have videos about K1 visa protests and um, uh, some of you watched them. There are many videos on uh, Ukrainian um, women uh, with marriage protests, the K1, which is fiancé visa. But we had not talked yet about the, um, the children. We had not talked about, you know, what does it really mean uh, when you... Um, marrying a woman with children and I would I would say probably 60% of women uh, that getting married are women that have children because uh, in Ukraine very often by the time uh, the woman is in her late 20s 30s and and 40s she it's 60 to 70 percent that she will have a child and uh, a lot of successful marriages actually uh, involve children and they um, it's, it's a common thing for many reasons. We won't go into the reasons today, but I would like to help you guys out and give you some practical advice uh, to understand better uh, and to be ready for things uh, emotionally, mentally, financially, and um, just being aware of what kind of responsibility you take in when you are uh, working on that process. So welcome everybody. Uh, good evening. It is after 10 p.m. here on Easter ta Eastern time. So hello everyone. So let's talk about this. Uh, number one, the question I received uh, in the letters and my emails was um, do children got, uh, get to be included in a K-1 visa. Do you include children in, uh, in K-1 uh, visa process and how does this all work? So I'm not a lawyer, so guys, you will have to um, invest into a lawyer, attorney uh, in immigration, but what I do know 100% is that absolutely minor, ch minor children are filed you file to for for them all together it's basically a package deal so you do file um visa for her and her minor children so it's almost 100 percent that she would like to take them with her and that was the other question that how do you uh go about you know, maybe inviting her and figuring things out with her and then having the children. And I want to tell you that this is not going to work in 95, 99% of the time. If you are dating the, um, the lady with the small children, like, I don't know, school age or maybe even younger, uh, there is no way she would want to to be separated with them you know that would be different if you would be uh having a relationship you would be living in europe like you live in germany and she's living in ukraine yes she might 
I have a grandparent that can watch a child for a month and she can go and kind of check things out. But with U.S. it's different. You do not ever want to separate a mother from the child, especially, you know, if they're, you know, in a young age, obviously, but any age, you don't, you don't want to be the person that separates uh, the mother from the child. I mean, it would be very dramatic and it will not help her to uh, get adjusted and accustomed here. I can guarantee you. Um, it's it's not going to help with anything. And the complications is also that uh, the main complication is once she gets here, she will not be able to travel for a while. I don't know if you guys realize that, but the processing. So first she comes here. It's about three months till you you know, in within 90 days, you can officially get married, but then you apply for condition for conditional green card. And that can take, uh, seven, eight, nine months. I don't know if things are changing. So please check with, uh, you know, with, uh, embassy and so on. But so basically if you separate her from her, ch from her child, she might not see them for a year. I mean, guys, for a healthy, normal woman, it's death like it's not gonna help your relationship at all you know if you if your children are you know really young like if they're toddlers that would be totally horrible if they're school age it would be absolutely awful as well i mean i cannot imagine uh not to see my son for a year i mean i just i cannot even imagine that and he's already he's he's nine he's gonna be ten um, so that would be a torture. So if you think that you are not ready to, uh, engage and, you know, with a woman, you know, it was chill with a child or children, uh, maybe you should not because there is, uh, you know, financial responsibility, uh, you have to create a good emotional environment and then there is a responsibility you take, you know, you sign a, a fidavit of support where you promise to support them while they're here and so on and so forth. So, and, you know, there is a, an emotional obligation to the woman. So, so yeah, this is something to consider. We're not going to discuss today this emotional, re you know, emotional reasons and so on, but I would definitely say that you absolutely have to consider um, all these aspects. And you know, guys, the good news is that mo most of the times people uh, do really well with this. Most of the times, um, most of the times everything works out because people and you know men in this case do realize that it is it is a responsibility but you know when you meet the right person and you take your most close people as a package deal and so uh answering the questions the question i got an email about whether you file together for the woman for your fiance and your children the answer is yes. And is it a good idea to separate her from her children and just have her in U.S. for some time to let her figure things out? Is this a good idea? The answer is absolutely no. And sometimes, you know, women worry about bringing children here because they don't know what, what to expect you know, what's going to happen here. But the thing is, guys, the younger the children are, the quicker they're going to learn the language, the faster they're going to adopt, and most likely they're going to be fluent, like in bilingual, which is a great gift. I, I don't think anybody would um, argue with me on that. That is... Um, you know, when you come here, you're five, six, seven, eight years old, you already, uh, of course, you know, fluent in your native language. 
and then you learn uh, English and not only you learn the language and you're going to speak like a native, but you also learn the mentality, the culture and uh, you basically you win. It's a win-win situation and um, so, you know, all children pick up the language. Sometimes parents are worrying that the child will, yeah, the child will feel uncomfortable for a month or two or three, but their brain is like uh, Play-Doh, you know, you can, you can, you can build anything, you can, they learn so fast, you guys know that, the children learn language so fast, and that's why it's awesome to give them those challenges early, and, um, you know, I have started learning English when I was about 12 or 13 in school, and it was just very basic things, you know, like dog, cat, door, you know. But I had really big interest for no good reason, but I just had interest in learning. Uh, and, you know, if I would come here early, you know, even when I was 12 or when I was, you know, 6 or 7 or 8, of course I would, you know, my, my language would be different. It would be absolutely flawless, flawless and it would be uh, no accent, it would be no different. It's, you know, not to say that you can't learn it earlier, but if you can uh, learn it real early, it's becoming native and it's pretty awesome. So that excuse that you can tell to a woman, oh, you know, your child isn't ready yet to come, so there is no such a thing. Any age is great, the earlier the better, seriously. If you, if you are serious about that relationship, I would say the earlier, the better. So, um, I do understand it's a big step and you have to realize that you're going to be fully, 100% responsible. Um, one of the things that you can do, you can talk to people, you can reach out to people on internet who've done this, you know, uh, in my own community, people reaching out to me, um, I know very many people that done that. So sometimes you do need to talk with somebody who is doing that or had done that. And uh, you will find some support and maybe you will realize it's not so bad. It's not that scary. So that's something to consider. <clears throat> and, you know, children are not just you know, some additions or, you know, attachments, you know, they're separate human beings and uh, it's a, it's definitely a big decision. And now guys, lastly, I would like to bring this um, very, very important aspect as well. We talked about this at the VIP club last week. <clears throat> so it's in our um, com little community that we have where, you know, we're just sharing things and trying to, you know, s support each other. So, <laughs> Robert is saying, kids can pick up things better. Not just better. Kids can pick up things like nobody else. You know, they are, their brain is a super power. You know, honestly, the br average brain of the adult person that is not learning every day that it's not exercising the brain the brain is like a rock i mean it's done i'm sorry to say this i'm not saying this to to anybody but if you're not you know if you're like over the age of 40 and you're not exercising your brain you don't have new knowledge you, you don't work out you you don't challenge yourself every day and you don't change the way you do things you always do the same things you 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 know you kind of you know, you're watching TV shows and all of that and just doing everything every day is the same day. I'm sorry to say this, but your your brain is like a rock. Like it's still, you can't learn anything new. You can't, you know, so child's brain is like a rocket. You know, it's just, it's incredible. It's a miracle. Uh, grown people can keep their brain elasticity if they actually train it just like you train your body you know being flexible so if you guys want to stay young you i don't know you i hope you know that you have to challenge yourself every day 
and never say the phrase that at my age I cannot do that or I'm too old for this because that's what what's happening. You have to challenge yourself and do uh you know l- learning languages you know do unusual uncomfortable things this way the plasticity and elasticity of your brain will stay and and you will keep um you will keep that for a long time so just want to say that 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 things kids not just picking up things better they are like um lightning speed at everything the 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 things my son was telling me blew my socks so I'm, I'm i can't really share with you that because um it's kind of personal but the the things that kids are pick pick up on and how fast they can learn so don't ever discourage the woman because of whatever child you whatever age your child is so uh this thing about the thing number three, guys, is very, very important thing. And that is when you realize that something serious is, is about to happen with you and your lady, you got to ask your questions about your ex. If he's in Ukraine, you need to know whether he is official, uh, whether they were officially married and whether he is actively involved in the life of your child including the finance, including, you know, his presence, uh, because that can be a big issue. Sometimes you are lucky and the, the debt is just absent. I would say there is probably number, half of the women that have children, the debt is just gone. You know, he's either having another family or he was gone right away. You know, the single motherhood with women who never been married, you know that's different than the woman was married and she was she's divorced that's different than the ones that was never married <laughs> in some ways for you that is better because you don't have to she doesn't have to ask for permission to take the child abroad now if she was officially married and maybe that not that much in involved but he does exist and he has the legal right to the child this is where things get a bit more complicated. She does need the paper from him with his permission. And scenarios can vary. <clears throat> a lot of times it's really sad. But those d- dates uh, that are, you know, gosh, those dads that are not uh, really involved. And maybe they are alcoholics or something like that. They are, I mean, sometimes you can actually buy that paper from them i mean as crazy as it sounds but they would write a paper for you that they uh let the child to leave the country and um <clears throat> they would actually write that paper and sign it if you pay them i mean it's a horrific situation from a mental pers- from a you know how to say this from a perspective of you know a healthy mind but again it's not so bad for you because you can get it done you know sometimes corruption um i mean it's crazy but even corruption sometimes can make sense i mean not make sense but makes these things easier i mean at the same time it's kind of scary to think that somebody you know that's one thing when the dad signed the paper because he wants a better future for the ch- for his child you know, because he knows that he probably cannot give much and maybe he has not been helping financially for years and he understands that the child will have a great opportunity in life uh, and he signs because he doesn't want to stand on the way of the child's happiness. That's one thing. But if he signs because, um, you know, he just, it's a quick way to make money, it's very sad. It's kind of, I don't really have words for that, but hey, if he if you can take it out of the way, great. Uh, so you should not be shy and try to avoid this topic, guys. If something arises like this, um, sorry, guys, I'm cold. I have like uneven temperature in the house. It's it's warm outside and it's cold downstairs. So not really cold, but um, cold enough. <laughs> cold enough to want me to 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 wrap myself in the fur so 
that guys what it is uh you have to know where you are because the last thing you want to happen is you have everything together and here is a you cannot find the official dad that has you know rights to the child or he is making trouble and he doesn't want um he's making trouble and he's trying to see what he can gain from the situation maybe he's inadequate person he could be uh i mean you can you have to talk at some point when you know that this relationship is serious even way before you start the visa you can tell you you, you can ask your question like if you would be traveling if you would be moving somewhere how the ch the father of the child would react it's very important you know there are some people who are adequate there are some men uh, that have already another family or and you know people migrate and migrate from uh, in our culture from family to family sometimes they've been three four five times married sometimes they're not officially married but sometimes oftentimes they might be okay and they would sign paper without any problems because uh, they want a better future for their children. So you got to figure this out, guys. Don't uh, leave that as a bad surprise in the end. So that's, uh, you know, an aspect number three I really want you to uh, pay attention to. So um, the the bottom line of this video is you can't ignore the fact that children are probably the most important thing in a woman's life. And if they are not, you probably do not want to be with this woman. Because if woman if the woman is ready to, you know, throw her child, I mean not throw, but <laughs> leave her child with grandparents and or some other relatives, it's not okay. You know, when you become an you know, the child doesn't ask their mother to bring them into the world if if the woman became a mother uh that was her conscious choice and that's her decision and so on and so forth so uh the woman that would try to you know consider you know living child it's just so tragic you don't ever want to do that um a couple years ago i actually had a client uh somebody who was buying from me my first and um, she was first big client, so so to speak. And uh, we were talking to each other via emails. And her emails were perfect. Her, her language was amazing. But then we realized that we were from the same country. So we decided to talk on the phone. And she immigrated herself uh, some years ago. And... So she wasn't going by K-1. She had some other way that she immigrated kind of through the work visa. And she did leave her son, you know, and she was only eight years old. I don't judge her because she wanted a better life for him. And back then, the country was going through another wave of disaster. I remember the time I was finishing high school. It was one of the hardest times ever. And so she moved and um she had to leave when he was eight and things that she told me you know i was trying to listen to her but i was just like horrified because you know you know i really wonder what's worse when you can't provide the material um things for your child or when you know you break their heart because if you leave them way early than you supposed to you break their heart in two you know the phones the skype whatever the hell it is is not the same it's not the same you know as being close being near you know they i think actually that probably being closed is more important than the 
that's just my opinion. I don't know what I would say if I would have no food to feed my child. I don't know what I would say. But from where I stand right now, I just don't think that could ever... I could ever survive that. Anyway, she she told me what hard she what hardships she went through here. You know, trying to find a job. You know, trying to uh, get her get her um, settled here. And then after about ten years, I think like eight or ten years, she was able to get him here. But basically, his life from like eight to eighteen or sixteen went without her. You know those forming years when I mean there is no replacement for the for the parents for the mother and for the father I don't think they had a father but anyway it just you know she was very um she was very cool about it and she was almost cynical you know she's she had um but I could see that that a decision the woman should never make she was a, you know she was a single parent and she was going here by herself but if you are uh somebody that genuinely loves somebody don't ever put the choice uh in front of the woman because it will never work even if she will agree she will never forgive you and if you love a woman you would never want to put heart on her knife i mean knife in her heart like that so yeah, you know, talking to that lady, I understood a lot. I didn't say anything. I was just listening to the story. And I, once again, was not judging her by any meaning. She was trying to do what she could to help, to, you know, to build the future. But I thought that price just really way too high. And uh, I see some of my VIP club here. Uh, last year, I posted a video about west of Ukraine and how many Ukrainian women go to, you know, Poland, Italy, uh, Germany to make some money because there is no jobs or decent salaries on the west of Ukraine and how half of the town of children, they're basically orphans because they're, they're, their mothers are abroad working. And it's it's heartbreaking, you know, and I realize that love is just same need for us as food, as water. Actually, love isn't just something that we can have or not have, but especially for forming years of the children, they need actual person. So there, you know, they need there is no replacement for it. So. This is just some emotional aspects, guys, for you to realize and, you know, uh, to take the right decision because don't take something you, you're you not sure you can take care of, you know. Um, so, you know, once again, um, three main things to take from this video. Uh, you know, the first one um, is to realize that it's, um, you know, package you gotta file that visa they come all together k1 and if you guys want to know more uh you know we have people at the vip club who are going through this process so uh if you want to join our community uh let me know um we are very selective who we are welcoming to i know some of my guys for for quite some time right now so but if you want a support group let me know um you can learn a lot from real people that are going through through this real time, right? And um, another important aspect is uh, that you do not want to, you know, wait for perfect timing or some certain age. It's all just an excuse. It's all, if you watch the video from the beginning, I go into details. And number three, you have to figure out uh, what's going on with the biological father. If he involved, if he's not involved, if he is going to make problems, if he has rights or not. So it's all figure outable. Honestly, if you really want for things to happen, guys, you you will figure it out. 
once again, I don't know anybody who wanted to do it, really was into it and had not done it. So, all right, let's see, guys, what's going on in the chat. Um, thank you guys for being here. Uh, Ron Hunter is saying, I'm sorry, I cannot stay from what I'm hearing. Uh, this is a smart lady. I must go, but thank you to her for putting out the someday I would love to visit I'm 60 and it would be nice oh wow thank you Rod um I appreciate that it doesn't um I'm actually I live in U.S. but I'm from Ukraine uh I live in U.S. since 2008 so I've decided to open this channel a couple years ago because I've learned a lot it was uh a mix of uh you know good and bad <laughs> you know tough and you know and all you know all this mix and some things i thought it would be helpful if somebody is going through the same thing maybe um will find something helpful and won't have to go through some things that i had to go through merry christmas thank you for the contribution i appreciate that Merry Christmas or Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is coming. Okay, let's see, Aaron. Okay, let's see, guys. I'm going to try to to go to uh, the beginning. Aaron Flores is saying, one of the top three channels on this subject. Well, thank you, Aaron. Uh, and if you have some questions, uh, you can post them on this video because... The topics I bring, I want to bring topics that really resonates with what people are going through. So I appreciate the high rating, Aaron. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to go in the beginning and see if I could... Um... Okay, Aaron was saying, I'm going through the process three months. Okay, okay, I see. Yeah, the process takes very long it's true you just you got to be patient and uh it's awesome that you can go for three months you know so few people have that opportunity i'm very happy for you it's hard to be apart i i really think that long long distance relationships are one of the toughest things to go through uh but good things are worth the wait Uh, I cannot really give any advice or insight on Rapid with the company because before I say something, I need to make sure that's the right thing, is that I know what I'm talking about, other words. All right, so let's see. Uh, Green King is asking, what's your important piece of advice for a man dating a Ukrainian woman? Green King, are you serious right now? I have a thousand plus videos on that. My important advice is take your time and, you know, make some research. But more than that, just live life. And, uh, you know, relationships are, are great uh, to learn some insights. But the best insight is you have to go into it. Because the theory is not, you know, it's not going to get you there. You have to practice, if you know what I'm saying. But to, you know, these questions always make me laugh. Because um, if you go to my channel, you will see literally thousand videos uh, on important piece of advice, you know, from any perspective. So um, just check it out. It's just me. It's just really making me laugh. All right. Um, will I be making a style, uh, a style channel? Are you serious, <laughs> uh, Jane? Well, thank you so much. I don't really know. It's funny because I love, I love fashion. I and I kind of have the classic vision of fashion I am just uh, kind of different uh, in terms of I have very particular preferences 
um, but I don't know if I ever do fashion style. What I'm considering doing is some of you guys know that I have the retro, sort of like a retro fashion vintage shop. And I have a different kind of glamour ex accessories, but mostly furs. So if, if it's going to be a really cold winter and I'm going to be snowed in, I probably will open another channel to talk about first. So Jane, possibly I'm going to talk a little bit about first or fashion or something, something retro on another channel. If I can stretch myself to that, if I can find time to do that. It's funny because I started this channel talking about the, the first and styling. But... I've never really went into that mode where you, you know, you talk about... I feel that there is so many channels with uh, styling and makeup and... Uh, it's funny, guys, you know... So I started this channel with talking about, the, you know, the first... Because that's my business that I do on, on the web, online. But... One of the frustration of the fashion business or, you know, doing these things is that you cannot have an intellectual, into-depth conversations with your first. As much as I love the dressing up, the, the, the high heels and so, so on and so forth, I would like to have a conversation about something, you know, totally different. So uh, that's why... I open this channel, but Jane, thank you so much, and uh, feel free to subscribe to this channel. You can actually go to my playlist, and in my playlist, you can find a playlist called All About First, and those are some of my first videos I made about two or three years ago, so I might actually add something, and also I have a first shop, uh, I will put it in the description uh, in a comment below, uh, probably tomorrow, because I don't know if I can get to my computer today. Um, so it's kind of nice to have a lady on a, a few ladies on my stream because the stats are still showing that 93, 95% of my followers are men, uh, which I don't mind, but ladies are more than welcome to join. And I'm glad that you, you love first. So, yes. And it would be great to start that channel because um, I love what I do. And sometimes I run away from you guys, uh, from people who listen to me, for my relationship inside. I run to my first because I don't need to think about problems. I don't need to think about all this, you know, <laughs> difficulties I can just, you know, glam up and pose and model for my photo shoot. So I take a break from the problems and issues and, you know, struggles of the world. So I basically sort of alternate and you use different parts of brain with these two diff different uh, businesses. So so it's, it's, it's kind of funny how it's, sometimes it's nice to alternate and... Um, I said this before, when you become an adult, uh, <laughs> you don't have a vacation, but you have a um, change of occupation. So you basically change what you do. So let's see. Uh, oh, hello, my uh, old time subscribers. Thank you so much. Um, could you please remind me your real name again? Because I don't want to say it wrong. But thank you so much. And he's saying uh, thank you for the thank you for the super chat, and I appreciate that. And he's saying first style videos will expand to lady viewers. Well, I think that doing a first style probably will at this yes, Robert, correct. I probably would make the. the first on a different channel because once in a while I post something here but I don't want to be um, super off topic so once in a while I will post maybe some of my four videos just 
like short ones and i have some so jane if you will look you you will find some some of that but it will be a separate channel and guys i will go live on um i will go live on my facebook fur page for sure because it's already set up i think i have seventeen thousand people who follow my fur page so for all of you i will post Every verse that if you if you love the first, uh, you can po you can follow that page and I will be giving just some practical tips and styling tips uh, on the first. So and just in general, you know, thanks for ladies. Merry Christmas! Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm glad uh, that you love ladies. It's good to know that. Um, you know, there are men that still love women, not just themselves. Like, literally, you know what I mean. Uh, uh, Jane is saying, awesome, I've subscribed for a while, but have never seen the entire playlist. I will make sure to follow the F Facebook to awesome. Yes, that would be wonderful. Um, I would love to actually share some knowledge, uh, some practical knowledge. And... Um, it would be fun to actually create also a community of women who do not follow the mainstream and want to feel uh, glamorous without any reason, without anybody had to get, you know, have to get married or anybody have to die, you know, for you to dress up. I told you guys when I just came here, um, you know, eight, ten years ago now, and I would see well-dressed crowd in my town it means that it's a funeral there is no maybe a wedding but most likely a funeral and i was thinking it takes a person to die for women nowadays to actually put a nice outfit or you know to be glamorous saying that i'm gonna put my my chinchilla lace wrap around me but i was just i was just thought it was funny like it takes a person to die for people to actually put their stuff together and show some self-respect and dress up and so that was a, a wake-up call and reality check I was and in one of my very first videos I think I have the topic <laughs> so yes I would absolutely love to uh, create a community of women as well that are feminine inside out that you know that dare to be different that enjoy their femininity not ashamed of it don't see it as a weakness and love to just uh live to the fullest and just enjoy themselves um joy this is not a raccoon this is a ch chinchilla and believe me they had a better life than than you do <laughs> Uh, yes, I can also make uh, four educational videos because um, a lot of people have no idea. Uh, <laughs> because people have no idea about the, the fur industry, what it really is. And that it has nothing to do with being cruel. And uh, I've made a lot of research and learned the numbers. And yes, these animals had better lives than, you know, most pets have. Because they get the best nutrients and the best everything. So they can be shiny and soft. And to make sure that uh, they have humane equipment. I think 2016 in Canada... They spent twenty million dollars to update, so these animals having a good life. So, and I mean, most people do not know first thing about. Um, so I can make some educational videos, not just Stalin. Okay, guys, I'm convinced. Okay, 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 I will start make you uh, Facebook videos. On the first after I uh, after the Thanksgiving break, and I will I'll I'll start uploading the separate YouTube for the uh, first fashion and education. That's gonna be um, 
a channel for women who do not follow the mainstream media and understand the the whole uh brainwash thing and that it's still okay and awesome to um be you so thank you guys um merry christmas is saying people have been using animal fur for millennials yeah you know if not for meat and animals we would be dead yeah so we'd be dead for now we'd be dead now um animals were made for us to use them i'm not saying we should you know torture them but we should definitely eat them and use them <laughs> you know i love animals because they're tasty right so uh, <laughs> it's not gonna be channel for everybody but anyway yes i do have facebook as well so yeah i love animals so yes uh i would consider that i don't know if i would ever have a channel that would be just about you know i probably would add some education and some you know into depth things i don't think that it's going to be uh just about styling because i'll be bored you know by the way if you want to contribute if you want to get um you know, if you have some ideas or visions, feel free to share. And I want to say special thank you to, to the females who are watching me. I really appreciate it. It's like uh, rare guests and I want to have more. And uh, Gregory is saying, excellent idea for group talk and women to communicate about getting in touch better with their femininity. Yes, I agree. I absolutely enjoy being around uh, wise, beautiful uh, women so <laughs> people eating tasty animals that's right high five on that one <laughs> so all right guys i just wanted to chat with you a bit more because you know the holidays are coming i would like to spend some time to recharge my spirit uh still probably if i have good wi-fi where i'm gonna be uh might still make some um videos for you but sometimes, you know, the Wi-Fi is bad when you taking a break or doing something. It's because the world wants you to rest and recharge. So I want, if I don't see you before then, I want to uh, wish you a happy Thanksgiving, a uh, good time, uh, reflect on what's important in life, um, have some good rest for your mind, body and soul. So, thank you, every, thank you everybody for coming and commenting, uh, contributing to, um, to my channel, uh, super chatting and, and just, just being awesome and active. One thing also on my list is that after the Thanksgiving, I'm going to see if I could have scheduled live videos so you actually know they're going to be alive and some of them going to be q a where you know i can answer your questions instead of sending me an email you can just answer them live so thank you Yelena. i'm glad you enjoyed it so we kind of the second part of the of the live event a bit of topic just talking about other things but if you guys are interested in uh, in relationships and and in this particular aspect just watch the video from the beginning the first 25 minutes are about the topic which is on the video so just a minute guys Mountain resorts. Okay, let's see. Thank you. Thank you guys for the kind words. I feel like now everybody should open a YouTube channel. And, you know, if they need to hear, if they need some love and kind words, they need to sp spread the love and they will get back something nice. <laughs> and I, I love the laughter. Oh my gosh. Thank you so very much, everybody. 
I'm just uh, sc- looking through the comments. I missed some. Um, I'm, I missed some of the questions. But actually, overall, I did answer that. So if anybody feels that their question, you know, got lost or didn't get answered, just comment under the video and I will answer it in my next live. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. So happy Thanksgiving. Uh, have a wonderful night, everyone. Um, once again, I will let you know my live video schedule after the holidays. I've decided that unexpected live videos are good but it would be great to actually have expected live videos when you know um 100 that i'm coming i was a little bit afraid to commit because my schedule ch- often changing and some things are happening unexpectedly but um i will do my best to see if we could make it work so uh we can have a lot, um, a lot more in enga- people being engaged uh, in in these live videos, especially when I have a Q and A. So, thank you so very much for coming, guys. Have a wonderful night, wonderful week. Enjoy the holidays, get some rest, and I will see you back on my channel soon. Thank you for being with me.